so excited to show you in my local grocery store. And so this is not a health food store. This is a conventional grocery store that happens to have a lot of healthy food options. But I'm gonna show you, this is about 10 minutes from my house. My wife and I go here on a regular basis. And I'm gonna show you what I get, the kinds of foods that fit into our, our ketogenic diet and lifestyle. And you'll see that there's a lot of great options. There's probably a grocery store similar in your area that has these kind of options that fit into the nutrient dense, ketogenic diet and lifestyle that I teach. So with that said, let's go ahead, let's get started. So we're gonna start right over here with the bulk nuts. And nuts are a great component to a nutrient dense ketogenic diet. And so you can see right here, they've got macadamia nuts, which are one of the best, loaded with healthy fats, uh, great, great food. You've also got pecan, let's see, that's honey flavored. Uh, you've got walnuts right here. Walnuts are another really go good one loaded with omega-3 fats. And we've also got pumpkin seeds, raw pumpkin seeds, which are very rich in zinc and B vitamins, a great component to a ketogenic diet and lifestyle. So right over here, we've got guacamole. And guacamole is one of the best ketogenic foods, loaded with healthy fiber, healthy fat, really good for your body, very satiating. So you can do a lot with guacamole. You can make your own. We have recipes to make your own. That's what I prefer to do, but on occasion for parties, things like that, it's great to buy some pre-made guacamole. So another great option is salad greens. And you can see all these different varieties of salad greens. Great thing to be loading up on, have a big salad every single day. It's a great, great approach to a ketogenic diet, nutrient dense ketogenic diet. These things have like little to no carbs, it's basically just fiber and nutrients. So really great approach. Put some olive oil or some good dressings on it, tastes great. So another thing I wanna show you is radishes. These are one of my favorite snack foods. I love to just munch on them. They're rich in sulfur containing amino acids and sulfur compounds that help detoxify your body. I always feel like my skin is so much softer when I eat radishes. They're very low carb and a great addition to a nutrient dense ketogenic diet. So again, at the produce section, tons of great stuff over here. We've got cauliflower. We love to make a mashed potatoes alternative out of cauliflower. You even have orange cauliflower here, which has antioxidants in it, carotenoid antioxidants, kind of like what a carrot has in it, which is great. We've got asparagus, we've got celery. This is organic celery right here. And so typically when it comes to organic, if something is, if you're gonna eat the outer layer, it's ideal to get it organic. You may not always be able to, but if, the, if there's a good option, go for the organic variety of something that you would eat the outer layer, like celery or cucumbers or something like that, as opposed to onions and garlic. Not as important to, uh, to get those organic because you're gonna peel the outer layer. Avocados, not as important to get those organic either because again, you're gonna peel the outer layer. So that's the general strategy there, but you can see pretty much this whole section right here is just all kinds of stuff, bok choy, Right here we've got parsley, which is fantastic. It's a bitter herb, really good for our digestive system. So beets and carrots are a little higher in carbs, so we do have to be careful with that. If we're trying to do a deep dive into ketosis, we would want to avoid those. But if you're on a higher carb day, if you're cycling out of ketosis, carrots, uh, beets can be great options. Okay, so one thing I wanted to show you that my wife and I get on a regular basis, really great food that we use with our family, are these grass-fed hot dogs. You can see right here, it says 100% grass-fed. Really, really good. And these are basically just your grass-fed beef along with lots of good herbs to give it flavor. And those herbs actually have a lot of health potential as well. So years ago, if you would have asked me if I could eat hot dogs on a regular basis and be healthy, I would have said no way, right? However, you know, this Applegate Farms, right, has done a great job creating a really, really great hot dog that fits into the ketogenic lifestyle loaded with good high quality protein and the herbs provide some antioxidants and they taste amazing. So you've got the natural and then the organic. These are both grass fed, 100% grass fed, right? So still really high quality. So now right here we've got lunch meats, okay? And lunch meats can also be a great addition to a ketogenic diet, but you wanna make sure you get them without the nitrates, without all the preservatives and so at your local store, you may be able to find stuff like this right here, okay? So it's the Simply Truth Organic, smoked turkey breast right there. You know, doesn't have the preservatives, doesn't have a lot of the toxins. The animals are treated better in these, these environments. So that's a, a really great option. So they've got turkey, they've got roast beef. So these can be options that you can get and apply to your nutrient-dense ketogenic diet. 
So when it comes to meat, you'll see that a lot of grocery stores are labeling things to help the health savvy individuals like myself. And so you can see right here, we've got organic free range chicken breast, right? So the animal was raised in a more healthier manner, free range, uh, doesn't have additives, preservatives, they weren't given hormones and antibiotics. So much healthier choice right there. We've also got grass-fed beef right here. So this is grass-fed beef. Ideally, what you're looking for is 100% grass-fed beef, but if you can't find that, just seeing something labeled as grass-fed beef is gonna be better. Better, more rich in omega-3 fatty acids, more CLA, conjugated linoleic acid. The animal was raised healthier, so you've got grass-fed beef here. We've also got the uh, steak right there. So you can find steaks that are grass-fed as well. Again, your ideal, your gold standard is 100% grass-fed, but if you can't get that, look for just the grass-fed, and you'll see a lot, of con a lot of grocery stores, conventional grocery stores, not health food stores, are having these products. They're labeled. You may need to ask you know, uh, one of the managers or one of the, um, one, one of the employees, but oftentimes you'll be able to find them. They're, they they kind of stick out because there's so many of us that are looking for these products. So another great option is actually getting the whole chicken. So especially in the winter time, you could just throw this in a big pot, boil it up, and the meat starts coming out. It's a great way to make chicken soup. You can also get the bones, you know, break down the bones and make a whole bone broth as well. Make your own homemade chicken bone broth. But you can also have the meat, right, and actually boil it down. It works great. You can also make kind of your own rotisserie chicken. So uh, getting a whole chicken can be really great. Oftentimes there's organ meats in there, like liver and different things like that that are so rich in nutrients. So it's a great way to get more nutrition into your body. It's using the whole chicken, right? Just getting the whole thing all at once. Especially if you have time. Obviously it's gonna take time to prepare that, but it can be a great option. Hey, I'm Dr. David Jockers, doctor of natural medicine. And if you're looking to improve your health, so you can look and feel your best, have your best brain, less pain, have more energy, then go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. That way you get notified whenever I put up a new video. Thanks so much for doing that. Thank you for being a part of our community.